Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati joins us for his weekly update. Good morning. Top of the morning, Bob. Top of the morning. Are you a Leafs fan? I'm actually a Habs fan. Oh, so you're in a... Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You are in a good mood. So I'm the only one in the fan, but I got to say this. Toronto, their biggest mistake was when they took their training camp out of Niagara Falls. That's, so, uh, you know what, uh, there's been a lot of analysis on that. Well, and you know what, I, I'm, I'm, it's very scientific, I know, but, but I'll tell you, while they were here, and they were here for three seasons, once for rookie and t twice for the regular full team, I actually was support supporting them. I want to see them do well. I want the curse over. I was two years old when they won last time. I'd like to see them win it for Toronto and for Canada. Although I'm a Habs fan, I was willing to give it up, but I wish they'd bring their training camp back. I think they'd uh, increase their odds. Yeah, of course, the NHL on the border was in the news as they're considering uh, dropping the quarantine requirements. Uh, is that giving you a hopeful sign? By the way, you actually had uh, a, a, a border city's mayor meeting or mayor's meeting yes, a few days did. back. Yeah, what came of that? Well, it was great. It was, uh, uh, it was a real positive discussion. And, you know, we're, we're looking to have a roadmap coming out very soon on how the border is going to open. The U.S. is looking at June the 22nd is the date right now, tentatively. And we're looking at some numbers. So Minister Blair is expecting June 21st that 75% of Canadians will have their first vaccination and 20% will have their second. If we follow these numbers, July 21st, they expect 75% of Canadians to have both of their vaccines. So with this in mind, they are looking at gradually opening up the border. They're looking at potentially matching up and meshing with some of the U.S. numbers as well. So it's on the horizon. They're coming up with a plan. Should come out very soon. Yeah, that's very good news. We had in the news this morning, Las Vegas is fully reopened now. Actually, the casinos have been at 100% uh, for the last little while. And I know you're itching to get the casinos reopened, but likely September? Well, you know what they're saying right now? Uh, August is part of the phase yeah. three. It'll be August. So, And now the vaccines are happening sooner. We only had 10 cases in Niagara yesterday. So we're going in the right direction. And since second vaccines are happening much earlier than originally thought, I'm hoping phase three happens much earlier than we originally thought. So they're saying August may end up being July. Okay, ahead of that, the uh, June 14th reopening. Uh, how, do, how does that look in Niagara Falls? Well, we're ready. I mean, uh, non-essential retail will be open 15%. All of our patios are ready to go. And we learned from last year, so we're really exciting, uh, excited. Serge Felicetti in our economic development office has been working with all local businesses to get those patios open. And I know I can tell you, I speak for many when we say we cannot wait to be able to sit on a patio, sip a beverage, have something to eat, and start to live life like we used to. Oh, yeah, it'll be nice to see uh, Niagara Falls come to life again. Uh, always a nice time to visit, even during the pandemic, but it'd be nice to get into a, a, a restaurant and patio and, and enjoy everything that Niagara Falls has to offer. By the way, you've got a city council meeting tonight. Uh, what are some of the uh, highlights on the agenda? I saw something about um, cannabis production facilities and land use you're dealing with. Yeah, it's good you don't go after the contentious issues, Bob, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And we have lots of time, Mayor Dio Daddy, to talk about this. So, the big issue we've had with outdoor growing is the smell. Because when the plants bud, it's strong and you can smell for a great uh, period of, of uh, distance, uh, depending on the wind. So the recommendation from staff tonight is that we do not allow outdoor growing within the city. And for indoor growing, it only be allowed in industrial areas with a minimum setback to sensitive areas, sensitive areas being residential, school, things like that. So that's the staff recommendation tonight. I, I'm guessing it's going to get some good support. So we'll see what happens this afternoon and tonight. So you've been getting feedback on this. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the smell, it can be strong at times. And depending on the wind, it can carry for great distances. And people are saying, where is this coming from? And there's some indoor places right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, before we go, we've got to do a special shout out for a, a retiring CAO. Ken Todd. Yes. Uh, you know what? Uh, thanks, Bob, for mentioning this. Uh, Ken Todd, uh, outstanding uh, civil servant. You know, he spent 40 years in municipal government. There he is with Vance Badaway, our, our MP, and Serge Felicetti, our economic development director. And he's been interviewed by CH. Uh, mm -hmm. He's just, that's him and I doing the, uh, the big ride where we uh, rode for cancer, and both of us are survivors. So we're happy to do that together. There he is with Wayne Gretzky at Gretzky's Winery in Niagara on the Lake. 
Uh, Ken has been a leader, a mentor to many CAOs. There he is being interviewed by CH and just a great, terrific human being. He's led the city for the last 12 years. He started in Thorold. He was in St. Catharines. He ended in Niagara Falls. A great volunteer, a great statesman, a great leader. He's created a real strong bench strength here at the city. He's left his fingerprint for certain and put us in the right direction. So we wish him and Judy well as he goes off into retirement. We're going to stay in touch. We're going to stay friends and hopefully he'll hang around to a little bit of a little bit of support and consulting for us here and there as well. Oh, okay. Well, we're happy to uh, recognize his work and wish him a, a happy retirement as well. And thank you for joining us again. We'll talk again next week. Nice to I see that things are looking brighter and we're getting that light brighter at the end of the tunnel. It's, it might be dim, but it's, it's there. It's coming. Yeah. We're close. We're close, Bob. Okay.